Have clarity in what you want. And don't stop chasing your dream until you have accomplished it. Everything will be fine as long as you don't give up. It will be hard in the beginning, but don't stop. In order to survive and win in the ever-changing world, keep updating yourself. Consume knowledge. If everything you try works, you aren't trying hard enough. Most of what I learned as an entrepreneur was by trial and error. Your success depends on how many times you have tried after failing. It's all about persistence. And keep trying. Lack of fear of failure is an important part of it. People are willing to try things. They figure if they don't make it, they can do something else. It's a question of keep reaching and following up the things that look like they're really good potential. The computer is really a useful gadget for consuming time. Internet development is a surprise. I didn't realize it would open up a new world of opportunities. If you'd asked me in 1980 what the big impact of microprocessors would be, I probably would have missed the PC. If you asked me in 1990 what was important, I probably would have missed the internet. I remember the difficulty we had in the beginning replacing magnetic cores and memories and eventually we had both cost and performance advantages. But it wasn't at all clear in the beginning. It's amazing how creative the people have been about getting around the apparent barriers that are going to limit the rate at which the technology can expand. If the auto industry advanced as rapidly as the semiconductor industry, a Rolls Royce would get half a million miles per gallon, and it would be cheaper to throw it away than to park it. The technology at the leading edge changes so rapidly that you have to keep current after you get out of school. I think probably the most important thing is having good fundamentals. With engineering, I view this year's failure as next year's opportunity to try it again. Failures are not something to be avoided. You want to have them happen as quickly as you can so you can make progress rapidly. I remember the difficulty we had in the beginning replacing magnetic cores and memories and eventually we had both cost and performance advantages. But it wasn't at all clear in the beginning. It is extremely unlikely that anyone coming out of school with a technical degree will go into one area and stay there. Today's students have to look forward to the excitement of probably having three or four careers. From the time I was in junior high school I decided I wanted to be a chemist. I didn't quite know what a chemist was, but I kept it up and got my PhD in physical chemistry.